Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'm going to have a look at something a little bit different in that when I was searching for my regular suppliers for my rations you do come across oddities for want of a better word and one of those that I discovered is space food. The sort of food that astronauts and cosmonauts take into space. So I thought wouldn't it be interesting just to have a look at the sort of food they take into space. Now, from what I can believe, this one is obviously Russian and it is made by the same company that supply cosmonauts that have been on the Mir space station and the International Space Station. And this is pork with vegetables in a tube and these ones on the side here are commercial versions of what astronauts have taken into space these are not the originals these are commercial copies but it is freeze dried and I thought it would be nice to do a meal of meat and vegetables with peaches and now this one's really intriguing ice cream now how you freeze dry ice cream I have no idea but I'm going to enjoy finding out and both of these also claim it is the sort of food that astronauts have taken into space over the years so let's have a closer look at the main meal pork with vegetables it comes in this rather nice looking box absolutely covered in Russian and let's have a look what we have inside okay so like you'd expect space food to be coming it is actually a tube <laughs> very similar to toothpaste now there is a lot of information on there um, I shall let you have a look I'll give you a minute just to sort of see for yourself and this one is pork and vegetables now it does suggest you do not microwave um, you can warm it up in hot water on a radiator and I think that one's in a car engine so I'm going to warm mine in a moment uh, boil it in water and come back and show you what it looks and tastes like. Okay, I've now warmed the main meal, the pork and vegetables. It's very hot, and if you listen, it now sounds like it's gone a little bit runny, so I hope it's not gone over over warmed. But it's a little bit hot at the moment, so I'm just gonna put it back down, give my fingers a chance to get used to the heat, and I think I'll open the other sides first now this is astronaut freeze-dried peaches and as I said earlier these are commercial copies of what astronauts actually take into space and there's information there about where you can find other inf uh, information on astronaut foods so let's have a look at these freeze-dried peaches Yeah, they look like crisps or what the Americans are called potato chips and there's uh, no distinctive smell I'll just pour them out okay so what have we got here they do look like little pieces of peaches and they are so ultra light they they fly away if I was to blow that they'd, they'd blow off my hand I'll put those to one side a moment why we open the ice cream now again this as I says is another commercial copy but it is supposedly what astronauts have taken into space and this one is actually manufactured by 
mountain house. So, what does freeze dried ice cream look like? Wow. Now, there is a strong smell of strawberry. Put that to one side. It does look individually wrapped. So, try not to spill it. And it looks like it's severely broken. That's what we call Neapolitan ice cream with strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. And I'll we'll just empty this. Here. Now it does appear to be stuck to the paper a little bit, but okay. And again, ultra light. There's no weight there at all, and they feel like polystyrene. Can't wait to take a bite into those. Okay. But the main star of the show, excuse me, is blow away some of those crumbs. <laughs> The heavy crumbly is getting everywhere. Now, I've had a pair of Russian crackers left over from one of my previous reviews. Now, I'm not an expert, I don't pretend to be 100% uh, guaranteed, but I would imagine that if you take the Russian uh, mains into space, you'd need something to put it on. So, I don't think it'd be unreasonable to assume they take crackers, and their version of miniature crackers seems the logical one. So, now this is still very, very hot. I think I've over, over boiled it. Um, but let's see what we've got. Just like a toothpaste. Just hope it doesn't pop under pressure. Nope. Oh, very difficult holding this. I think I might need to wrap it in a little cloth. The tube. The tube is super efficient at generating at um, transferring heat. Now, oh, I can smell a great smell coming from that already. It smells herby, it smells, you can smell the pork, obviously a Russian, MRE spoon, and it does look like baby's food, jarred or canned baby food. The smell though, the smell is really good. You smell herbs, spices, gravy, pork. Mmm. That is very good. It has a little bit of texture left to it. As you can see, it's, it's well ground. It has some texture. When you put it in your mouth, there are beads. Beads of pork, beads of vegetables, but the taste. Mm. The meat, the pork meat, is like ground mince, ground pork, minced pork. The flavour, the flavour is surprisingly good. Um, I have reviewed Russian MREs before, and Polish MREs and Lithuanian MREs. It's that sort of taste and texture that you get in a lot of those. It's very hard to explain. Um, it's like a good beef broth or pork broth or uh, a beef stew or pork stew in flavour. A lot of salt, a lot of pepper, but not overly, just enough to give it flavour. Mmm. That is. That is very good. I would have no problem at all eating that whole tube. Wow. Wow. It really is a meal in a tube. Come back to that in a minute. So what we'll do is we'll open the cracker. And these are just typical Russian style MRE crackers. Which I have left over from a previous review. And I'm going to try it on the cracker. As I'm sure it would be eaten in space. Mmm. My word. 
The crackers, as I've said before in previous reviews, are not overly hard. The Russian ones are not as hard as some of the Polish and Lithuanian. On the, on the cracker, it just adds another bulking agent. Wow. That is exceptionally good. Exceptionally good. Oh. <laughs> now, I'm going to finish that after the camera. When I turn it off, I'm going to eat all of that. That is so good. Um, let's have a look at some of these freeze dried peaches. It does say you can eat them as they are, and I also know you can rehydrate them. So I'm going to put a couple, just a couple, um, and just add a little bit of water, just to see what happens. Okay, but in the meantime, I'll come back and try them dry. So. It is just like taking a bite from a crisp or chip, as they're known in the States. Crunchy, slightly sweet, not a strong taste of peach. Although as it mixes with the saliva in your mouth and moistens up, the peach flavour comes through. Not unpleasant, but very unusual. It's not a thing that you'd, you can easily describe. It's just like eating a crisp or chip, but they're very unusual background taste. Mm. But certainly palatable, not a problem eating those. Now, ice cream. How does ice cream reconstitute? I'm not going to add water to that because I should imagine it just turns back into liquid cream. I'm just going to eat it as it is. Mmm, crispy, crunchy, taste of strawberry, and surprisingly, it reconstitutes back into ice cream. In your mouth, as you chew, it turns back into strawberry ice cream. Obviously it's not cold, but the flavour and the texture is there. When you've sucked ice cream in your mouth and it starts to dissolve and warm up liquid ice cream, it is just the same as that. I'll try a piece of the chocolate. That is the strangest feeling, but very good, a very nice pudding. It really does feel like you're eating ice cream once it dissolves in your mouth. Now I'm going to try a little piece of, a bite of the peaches, a bite of the ice cream. It's crunchy, and it mixed with the saliva. It turns back into peaches and ice cream. That is the weirdest feeling I've ever had. If you ever get the chance to try some of these, get some, give them a try. Particularly the ice cream. That is one of the strangest experiences. It goes from a crispy, crunchy, lightweight block into liquid cream in your mouth. How weird, but very tasty. Now, Because these are American peaches, I've gone to use the American MRE spoon and I'm going to try a little bit of this one that's been left in the water for a few moments. Wow! Now there's still a little bit of crunch in the centre. They do need a little bit longer. But that does reconstitute 
back into a piece of peach. Slightly bitter, could do a bit of sugar, a bit of sugar water to rehydrate them I think in my own opinion, but they do actually rehydrate into what is very similar to peach. Wow. So, certainly a few surprises there. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed my little review on some of the space style food. I certainly did. The mains, I'll do a quick recap and review. The mains are very good, very tasty. Um, it tastes like a good quality pork stew, pork broth. But surprisingly, as you eat it, there are still grains of uh, meat in there. It feels like you're eating a ground mince, ground pork. Lovely flavour. Very similar to the Russian, the Russian mains in their everyday ration meals, which I suppose they would be. Excellent taste. And I am actually going to eat it out of the tube as well. Mmm. That way it's even better. You suck it straight out of the tube. Fantastic. Again, if you ever get the chance to get one of these, please get one, give them a try. You'll be surprised, pleasantly surprised. The peaches, very light, very crispy. A little lacking on taste until you chew them. Once you chew them and your saliva starts mixing, they start going back to the taste of peach. But as I suspected, the star of the show, freeze dried ice cream. I did think there is no way that is going to taste like ice cream, but I was wrong. It's the weirdest texture as you bite. It is crunchy, but as you crunch it and it starts to mix the saliva in your mouth, it actually turns back into melted ice cream. Obviously minus the cold, but the flavour, it's, it's the cream, ice cream flavour in your mouth that you associate once the ice cream starts to melt. Very nice. So, very unusual, very different, but a real experience. Um, one that you're glad I tried. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon. So thank you. And goodbye.